everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. I go ahead and give a head up to the guys. You probably don't want to stick around. And if you do, it's only because you want to give some information to your spouse. So what I'm going to talk to you about is apparel. Apparel for your workout situation. Now, you may sit there and say, Alma, we all know how to dress. And I agree. The reason it's important to me is because I burn really fast. My skin does not allow for tanning. It goes straight from this to burned, red, on fire, gonna peel, bad situation. Uh, I've already done my first one this year and I realized at that point in time I needed to be a little more proactive. When you're out there, you kind of want to look decent you know and uh, for me I have to make sure that I am sufficiently covered even in the summertime people probably pass me on the trail going why is she in those pants and long sleeve shirt doesn't she realize it's 100 degrees out yeah I do realize it's 100 degrees outside I also realize that the Sun is scathing out there and I don't want to be in a situation of skin cancer and or of excessive burns constantly because I've been in that situation. This is what I use. It's my copper tone for babies. It's only a 50 SPF, but it is water resistant, so that seems to help because I, I sweat. Um, weird fact about this is if you look in the um, ingredients, sorbitol. Why is sorbitol in here? Okay, next thing I've shared with you guys is this by Organic Square. I get this at CVS. It helps for the times that I'm going to be out and about right after my workout. So I do use this on occasion. On top of uh, my um, sunscreen, and it does have an SPF factor to it as well. Came across some items that are in the store now by Scoonchi. I think it's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I love these items. Not sponsored, but hey Scoonchi, if you want to send me some of these, love them. I'll take them. Um, so here's one style of these caps. All right, it's actually a plastic insert. This is all uh, the moisture wicking material. So you can wash these very easily and then um, just put it on. I'm gonna put it on and I'll be right back. Okay, so here I am back with it on. I, you know, if I have my bangs on, it's not gonna bother it. Uh, the wind, it doesn't bother it. This here can go down, can go up. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, guess I don't need my glasses on anymore. Um, gives great protection. It does not fly up while I'm on my bike. It's great, easy to wear. I found this at my local Walgreens. I think it was like $8. Um, you can probably find it on sale on occasion. Maybe go to the Scoochie and see if they have any coupons available. But love, love, love this. Um, now, on the trail, I saw my this sweet gal named Gwen, and she had this version of it and I was like oh my gosh I need this where did you find it and she was like you know what HEB sells it she's like go you know go to where they have all the ponytail stuff and the hair accessories don't go to the hat aisle go to where all the scoochie products are sold and so she um, had this I was so excited I literally left the trail went to Walmart went to Walgreens uh, couldn't find this went to walmart.com ordered two items. When I got it, when it, my order came in, it was actually these, the ones I really wanted. Um, so anyway, I was on the trail two days later and Gwen was there and she's flagging me down. She's like, girl, I got you this. She pulled out of her pocket this item and I was just so thrilled. It was so kind of her. So, okay guys, so here I am. This is how the hat looks. It, again, you know, you can slide it up, down, however you need to. It, it kind of gives your hair a little protection and it catches your sweat guys. It got these at walmart.com um, and again it came in a bright, it says, colors, it says something to the effect of colors may vary. This is what I got. I was thrilled. I can't guarantee what you're going to get but I absolutely loved it. So I'm going to take it off. If I had thought about this I would have done this last because now my hair is going to be totally jacked. But okay guys so I'm back. <laughs> Sorry for the messed up hair but hey I did this for you guys. I did this for you guys. What I didn't do, show you this ladies. I changed my color. Isn't that an interesting color? I tried to coordinate for you. Isn't that pretty? So a lot of you guys have commented on my nails. Yes, these are my, I'll show you here. These are my natural nails. 
as proven by this little broken one but these are my natural nails this is the only good thing that has come out of menopause is my nails are strong as heck okay so see if i'm we'll do an episode one day on nails if you guys would like one let me know if you'd like for me to do an episode on how what i do for my nails um be happy to share with you so i also have this is just a small stack i have a whole bunch being washed of um handkerchiefs uh and because i do sweat so what i have found really handy is most of these outfits have a little hand cut off out <clears throat> so perfect for me because i'm walking and i don't like carrying a whole bunch of things perfect for me take my hanky slide it into the keyhole and i have while i'm walking <clears throat> i have this attached can do this number wipe off my sweat and i don't have to worry about holding something so that has worked out modestly for me so when i'm running i may carry this this just goes around your waist it snaps on your waist and it has two zip pockets in this pocket i keep a ziploc bag that has some gum in it some extra hair bands um a um piece of chalk because i like leaving a little message on the uh on the trail um headbands band-aids things like that and then the second zipper my cell phone can fit in it perfectly so yeah it stretches out uh, various things while you're on the trail take pictures or whatever i just use a knapsack roll tide uh, my alabama one this one has a front zipper or a side zipper that i can carry things in it has and then of course just the, the satchel bag here has uh, compartments, three different compartments where I can put you know, different things in it, including a water bottle. It sits in there. It's got a little thing to put it, and I just put it across my shoulder, and I'm ready to go. Apparel. Okay, so again, I sweat a lot. I like to sweat while I'm exercising. Is that just a me thing? Because it kind of feel like I'm accomplishing something while I'm sweating. I actually got a couple of these tops that I wear underneath my outfit and it actually has some neoprene. So I can just kind of get some extra sweat on around my waist. It has a little pocket in the back to where you can put something, keys, phone, whatever you like. All right, so that's kind of neat. Got this on eBay, really cheap. I love the Dan Skin uh, brand and let me tell you why. All of it, virtually all of it, is moisture wicking. So even though I sweat, it's all, because of the way that it handles, the material handles the sweat, I almost feel as if I am refreshed the entire time because the sweat isn't directly on my body, it's here, and it almost creates a um, cool environment for my body. So not like this one, it's like a waffle texture to it. I don't know if you can see that. Sheer enough, to give me some breathing room and yet enough coverage where I don't get sunburned. Um, you know, in the winter, the great thing about it is it, it zips up. In the summertime, I can zip it down. I have another style, which is um, just a crew neck. And this goes up high enough to where it gives me good coverage. All of these have the finger hole cut. Okay, so this is turning into what seemed like a mini clothing haul, but it really isn't. Okay, so this top, look at this, how cute this is. Um, this top, got this at five below, five dollars. The keyhole as well. These pants, I like the boot cut version of pants. They are Danskin as well. And they carry all the way from XL to, I think, gosh, at least a two or three XL. So, you know, and it's so affordable, guys, so affordable. And again, if you wait till it's on clearance and shop the clearance aisle, you can get some of these things for three dollars. So here are the Capri pants, leggings, and you know they've got vented legs tons of cute styles out there they, so the last thing to talk to you about is shoes and what you really should probably do is go get fitted at a nice place spend some extra money on your first pair of shoes that way you can find out what works good for your feet and then maybe after that you can start buying shoes that are maybe an off brand that you like um, that don't cost an arm and a leg because typically the shoes do but they are important on your feet because without your feet you can't do the exercise appropriately. Um, now, let me just show you what I love. Asics. I love these. These are their gel shoes. Um, they are very, very, very lightweight. This is great. 
for studio work typically. How I do wear them occasionally on the trail. The obvious that I was talking about. The cantilever technology um, has just such a great support system to them. They're still very flexible. Love this technology and these shoes. Um, just Google cantilever. Lastly, I don't know if these are intended. They're more like athleisure shoes, but I love them. These are by Beezy's. Beezy's have such a great sole structure um, for your feet. It is really like walking on cushion, uh, walking on air. Love these. So Beezy's, B-Z-E-E-S, love them. Check these. Okay, so the last piece of information that I have for you is for your toes. So when you go walking, your toes are very important. Now they suggest typically that you size up a half size on your running shoes. Um, I didn't know that when I started and was wearing probably too tight of a shoe and had issues. And when you hurt your big toe and you get runner's toe or any of that, it will stop you for a good period of time to where you can no longer walk because any impact against that toe will be too much. Now if you go to Walgreens, um, they will sell a toe guard that you honestly saved my feet completely and allowed me to get back on the trail. So this is what it looks like. It's a little toe, it's a little sleeve that you put on your toe and there is gel on the inside of it and that gel absorbs the impact to your toes. Now this little piece one, I believe, is almost seven or eight dollars. I went on eBay, found a silicone version of it uh, that you slide again on your toe. It's not all pretty with this nice little, you know, thing that keeps it from being destroyed. Bought this and it is a lifesaver when you hurt your toe. Other piece of advice is on your toes, keep your toenails trimmed, you know, close to the edge. Don't let them grow out too hard because that constant uh, bumping of a toenail against the front of your foot, you'll lose a toenail. Promise you. Eventually, you'll lose a toenail. I did. It wasn't pretty. It was sandal season. There's no way to hide that. So I was walking around with this little thing on my toe very often. I, I told, I said, you know what? I don't shame the toes. I told a lot of people that I was going to just polish something up here, <laughs> put the same color polish that's on my other toes, so it looked like it was decent anyway yeah and <clears throat> so this is a lifesaver got these on ebay i think they were like 99 cents for like i don't know three or three pairs or something whereas this seven dollars for one and then again for the ladies that were asking about my nails and the color of the polishes that i was wearing these are some samples that i got years ago i think and i had never ever tried them until this year and it comes with a purple one but i don't know what happened to that one so this is by Orly. There you go. This was the blue one that I was wearing. This was the pink one that I had in my last videos. And this is what I'm wearing today. It probably actually needs one more coat. The other two were two coats sufficient, but this one you can see where it's, you know, coming through. So that's why I said guys would probably want to leave because this was a very female oriented video. Okay guys, so I'm going to do a lot of editing and hoping to bring this down to a reasonable size video. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope I gave you some ideas. I hope that you go ahead and take your workout to the next level. Give yourself a timeline where you say, you know what, I'm going to do my first 30 minute walk and then I'm going to do my first 40 minute walk and so on and so on and so on. Hey guys, that's all I have to say for today. Uh, thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you today. I look forward to spending more time with you in the very near future and have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.